Good girls. Hi everybody. I currently have my two dogs in the master bathroom with me because once a month, I give these two fluffy bears a complete spa day. That includes a full bath, it includes brushing, and also teeth brushing and cleaning their feet. And <laughs> for this one, for Bubbles, you can't really see her very good here. She always has a sweater on when it gets cold during the winter and she is gonna get a change of sweater. I'm going to be giving her a more Christmassy sweater. So this is actually what I have for them. Bubbles is going to be in this very cute reindeer sweater. It says, I ate Santa's cookies covered in dog for everything in this house basically is. I try my best to clean her all the time, but like, they're dogs, what can you do? So this is her sweater that she's gonna be wearing. Honestly, I wonder if she's gotten a little bit bigger since, since she last wore this like last year, because I think the sweater's actually like a little small on her. She absolutely loves sweaters and she doesn't have as much fluff as can be, so she gets really cold, especially at night. And I always have to tuck her in under the blankets because otherwise she's just too cold. And it has these really cute reindeer ears, but I think, yeah, this is actually a little small so the hood doesn't actually go over her head. And then each of them has a bandana. Bubbles will wear this one, which says, Santa, I can explain. She ate Sam's cookies. And this one is gonna be the one that Candy is gonna wear and it says, I ate Santa's cookies. So I guess they both eat Santa's cookies, which I'm sure they would. So, which one of you wants to go first? Go in. Then throw up. Candy, stay. You'll have your bath after, okay? So this is my current set that I'm working with. I updated it a little bit just for some filming and photo shoot and stuff. 
and I have a bit of a surprise. I have an advent calendar. Now, I'm obsessed with advent calendars just because like, I think waking up every single day on December and going through the calendar is just like, there's an excitement about it and there's something so fun and wholesome about it that I just, I really love it. So I wanted an advent calendar for this December and I haven't done an advent calendar in years. So this is going to be so fun for me. I found, let me show you, hold on. So all of these bags are basically stuffed with like clothes, paper towel, like I was just looking for filler stuff. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this bag. It's like trapped, I was trying to hide it because it didn't really close all the way. But this, this bag has my advent calendar, which is, ta-da! holiday Pokemon calendar and this is what it gives you uh, I can read it if you want but it's a lot kind of so the Pokemon TCG holiday calendar includes 25 surprises to discover excuse me eight foil Pokemon TCG cards with a festive stamp five Pokemon TCG booster packs seven Pokemon TCG three card fun packs two Pokemon coins two Pokemon sticker sheets one sidekick dangler featuring Pikachu and Glaceon, plus find a code card for Pokemon TCG Live. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I already opened up day one. Today is December 2nd, so I'm opening up day two. And then probably, oops, probably tomorrow morning I'll open up December 3rd calendar day. Now this is a super cool, the way that they did this calendar was, is really cool. So you have like a full on art thing and then it unfolds. Oh, I didn't even, guess I didn't really notice this, but like the full art is at the back too. And then this side is where all of the calendar dates are. And so I already opened December 1st, so it's no surprise for me, I'll be honest, but I did stick it back in just for like the funsy of it to show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Again, I already know what's in here. I have to like wiggle it out a little bit. Honestly, like even if you got like a really rare card, you probably wouldn't get like a top like 10 grade on your card just because this one came out a little bent. I don't really know if that's really recoverable. So even if it was like a 10 grade, rare edition, hollow, shiny, whatever what have you, it probably wouldn't be that worth it because it would be like probably bent up and stuff. But this is a V Max, I guess, Glaceon. Is it a full art shiny? It's hard to see the plastic over it. I haven't taken it out of its plastic yet, but I'm guessing it's a full art shiny. And it's really cool looking. And so now I'm gonna open up day two. And again, I don't know what's in day two. Oh wow. It's a full on pack that I'm getting. It is a pack Scarlet and Violet Peldia Evolved. And I think the trick was for you pull four to the bottom, right? Okay, so it ended up being only one to the back. Um, I accidentally got some spoilers in this deck, but I think I think I know the reason why. So this is the first card in this deck. Let me let me do kind of like a closer. This is a table, so it's not actually very comfortable for me. So let me move a pillow here. <laughs> so this is the first card. And then we have a basic love disc. Snover, Fletchling, Voltorb, Vigoroth, Oranguru, funny looking Pokemon, Electrode. I love some of the first gen Pokemon, so I pull them. Skit. Plume, hollow. I don't know if my camera's focusing on it. And then a hollow tad bulb. 
a hollow rabska. And that's it. So that was day two of the Christmas holiday advent calendar. And yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. I'm really enjoying it. Tomorrow I'm going to open day three and let you know what's in it. And yeah, I'm gonna go through this calendar with you throughout my, my December. I'm super excited to see what I pull. And I hope you all have amazing holidays this month. Stay tuned for my next vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, turning on that notifications bell so you don't miss my next Vlogmas vlog. I'm posting one video every Monday and Friday at 12 p.m. PST. The goal is to get through until the 25th of Christmas, but I might be traveling and so I'm not sure if I'll be able to post until then. I'm hoping I can at least post until the 22nd, but alas, we'll see just how busy I end up being and what I have time for. Anyway, stay tuned.